Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This week's video, I'm actually really excited to do. So I'm fresh faced, I've got my hair slicked back, little slick back moment. And also I've already done my brows. And I've still got my mascara on from today, but let's just ignore that. I feel like I really wanna bring out loads of positive videos in January, giving you guys some motivation and also give myself some motivation. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial while chatting about quotes and things that I've saved in my notes over the past few months. I only started doing this, I'd say summer, when I'd see something that just made me feel motivated or like a quote that I was like, I want to remember that, I pop it into my notes. It's a really good tip to do. It's great to have it on your phone if you're in an anxious setting or if you're feeling on edge. So I want to be sharing with you the quotes I have been accumulating over the months, talking about them. And yeah, I'm not a therapist, but I, I, I do like to toot my own horn and I feel like I do give really good advice. <laughs> so <laughs> here I am. I'm feeling like playing around with makeup. I'm not going anywhere tonight. I am going in with this Beauty Bay Midnight palette. It's just fun. She's quirky. It's been ages since I've just sat down and played around with makeup. So I thought we'll do a purple look using the purple shades from this palette. So we're gonna start with the eyes. I'm going in with my H&B concealer. This is SF2N. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit on there I was going to remove my eyebrows and my mascara and do them again just for the sake of the video but I was like right you go her sensitive eyes they go red really easy and I will look like I've literally been punched so we are just gonna roll with the mascara okay I'm gonna go in with tranquil as my transition while reading out the first one are you ready for this? Rejection is redirection. The thing is as well that I'm going to find really interesting is everyone perceives quotes and sayings really differently. There's so many deeper meanings to some quotes, especially some of the ones that I'm going to speak about. So you're probably going to take it instantly in a different way to me. So obviously I'm giving my input or my opinion on these quotes, but you might think, oh my God, I didn't even look at it in that way. That is a big one. I struggle to accept that a vision in my brain isn't the same as someone else's vision. They like getting rejected from a job and things like that. Everything takes you onto another path. I'm a strong believer, can I just say, before reading any of these other quotes out, everything happens for a reason and I stand by that and I use that on the day to day. So I'm in with you do now and I'm gonna create like a soft wing with shadow. If you get rejected, look at it differently. Some people use rejection really negatively, but all you need to do is actually look at how it's such a positive thing. And you're probably like, Libby, what the hell? Like, how is, how is that positive? How is being told no or being let down or getting your hopes up about a situation a positive thing? You have to just switch your mindset to that wasn't the path you were meant to go down. And if anything, it's a blessing in disguise. So if a person in my life leaves or I'm not their cup of tea, instead of looking at it as a negative, I've realised it's redirecting me into my path. We all have a path. If it wasn't meant to be, it wasn't meant to be. Going with a thinner brush, I'm going to bring that all the way across my lash line. Okay, the next quote. This one isn't as deep. This is just like a cute little thing. Give that compliment as you never know he needs to hear it. While I'm talking about that, I am going back in with the Tranquil colour with a denser brush and feathering out the harsh purple light. It's so important to give people compliments, even if they're not the sort to take them. Also, I guess that does stem from that my love language my love languages are physical touch and words of affirmation. I love getting complimented. <laughs> Your girl loves the reassurance. Can't help it. I've always been like it. I'm going in with this moon dust gorgeous. Look at that. Look at her. She's beautiful. So I'm going to focus this on the lid area. I'm going to bring it into my inner corner as well. But yeah, I guess... That's why I really took to that quote because I think it's so important to 
compliment people around you, your partner, even if you think she knows she looks good. It's nice to hear it. It's nice to feel that someone is seeing you put the effort in, someone knows that you look good. I don't know what it is, but I love words of affirmation. Going in with some micellar water, I'm going to sharpen that edge. So what I like to do is I like to fold it over like this and I'm just going to go underneath like that. Make sure I like the line I've done. Also, it's good to get rid of any fallout before you do your base makeup. I want to be a glowy queen today, so I'm going to go in with the Beauty Crop Vitamin Babe Enriched Glow Primer. I've only used this once before, and so far, I'm really enjoying it. I love the glow that it gives, and also, I feel like this will be really good in the summer. It's SPF 40, and it says UVA and UVB. So I'm going to go in with that much. Now, this is big. This is very, very big. Don't share your energy to people that drain it. This is such an important quote that I think I'll need for the rest of my life. <laughs> Look how glowy my skin is from that. Going in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter in shade 5 around my face. I am a massive ball of energy. People have fed off me in the past like a vampire and I let them because I'm stupid. <laughs> I am a true Pisces. Everyone's feelings come before my own. I can't help it. It's the way I am. If you were like, what the hell is a Pisces? It's my star sign. Sometimes I feel like this can be a positive and sometimes it can be a negative. It's a negative when you feel like you're being drained. It's a positive when you feel like you're uplifting those people as well as yourself. There's a really big difference and that is what I've realised over the years. The best advice I can give for this particular scenario to myself and to you is to just observe a person. Analyse that person and their personality. If you feel like you are forcing that friendship and if you feel like you have more fun with them when you're out and you're energetic and happy and you feel a bit like drained when you've left them. Maybe they're bringing you down, they might, might be saying the odd thing that you think, was that a dig? Was that a dig? <laughs> it most likely is a dig. Going in with the L'Oreal True Match. I've only ever used this once. I'm gonna go here, chin, nose. You just have to really be careful with certain people. If you are known as the class clown, you are known as the person that everyone loves to be around because you're always happy. You just have to be wary. I mean, some of us are more sensitive than others and some of people might just be like, I don't care. Like if someone is like that with me, I will just ignore them or whatever. Past, I've not ever seen the signs early enough and it got to the point where I was so drained or they'd hurt me. It's nice. The important word in that to remember is the draining part. Why should you put up with someone that's making you feel down? You are your own person at the end of the day, Libby. I'm telling myself this as well. You are your own person. This is your life. Fill it with people that don't drain and suck the living daylight out of you. Fill it with people that love you and have so much fun with you and make you feel great about yourself. So yeah, that's why I love that quote and I feel like it's very important for myself to as well, to constantly remind myself. I'm gonna bring that foundation down my neck because I feel like it is a bit darker. I am really forcing myself today to use products that I haven't reached for in ages. So I'm going in with a holy grail of mine that I loved in the past and haven't used for a long time. And you know when you generally think like, why haven't I? It's Jouer Concealer in Macadamia. I'm gonna use this to brighten. So I'm gonna go in my usual areas. This is a very full coverage concealer. So you don't need to go heavy handed with it. Right, so this one, I actually instantly put straight after the one I've just told you about because it reminded me of something that's happened to me in the past. And I wanted to remind myself to always do this. Trust your gut. Trust it. Trust the gut. Don't listen to your heart. Don't, because your heart sees the good. The gut tells you the reality. I'm not gonna go into it, but I've been let down in the past and it still affects me every single day of my life. 
every single night before I go to sleep. I should have listened to my gut. That whole scenario, over half a year, I had gut feelings and I ignored them. I will never, ever, not follow my gut again. <laughs> I'm the sort of person to never regret things. Everything happens for a reason, like I said at the start. It's all to do with character development. Also, can I just say I totally forgot how much I was obsessed with that concealer. Wow. But if I could change one thing, I would have never have gone there. But if I'd have never gone there, I bet you're like, Libby, tell us. Like, what is, what is going on? One day, I promise you, I will talk about this on my channel because I feel like a lot of people have actually gone through something like this. And it's good to talk about but I'm not ready to. <laughs> I know that one of the particular characters in this story would have let me down later on in the path of my life anyway. So maybe this ju did just need to happen for me to grow. But I'm like, right, it's been, it's been four years. I'm still trying to heal. <laughs> when, when do I heal? When does that happen? Going in with my cream blush now. I'm gonna go in with the Refire Cream Blush in Rose. I don't want a really intense blush because I'm gonna go in with a pinkier highlighter to tie in with this colour. I feel like this colour is gonna really suit this eye shadow. Okay, the next one is another good one. All of these are good because I've saved all of these. So I feel like every time I look at one, I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> While I'm talking about that though, I am going to apply my highlighter. I've only ever used this once, forgot I had it. It's because I store a lot of my makeup in my salon and I've created a nice space to keep my makeup in my room in the new year. So I thought, let's bring it all up here so I can play around whenever I want. Pinky undertone. So I'm gonna show you it against the highlighter that I'd normally use. So I'd normally use one like this, one from Kiko, and then this, look how different it is. Very, very champagne-y, pinky color. Choose chaos over calm. No. <laughs> The opposite way around. No, don't do that. Jesus Christ. How did I get those muddled up? Choose calm over chaos. Please. Please do that, Libby. Please. I believe your brain... You have the devil and the angel on your shoulder. You can either choose to react, live a life full of drama, or you can choose to be calm. I'm gonna use a brush like this. Sometimes it's relevant. Sometimes you're allowed to react to things. Ooh, look at that. I think I've got a bit too much on my nose. Let's just, let's just sort that out. So I like to remind myself, and I can feel it in my head. I can feel the switch of read the room, take yourself out Libby, and come back in. I'm gonna contour a bit. I feel like I need to give the face a bit of depth. Holy grail, so sue stick. The thing is, I wanna say, that's one way of looking at that quote, but there's multiple other ways that you can look at that. Not just about like being like a gossip or being here for the drama. It's just general life as well. Two options. You've got the option to do the right thing or the wrong thing. And if the right thing is going to cause a bit of chaos, but then it's going to be calm after the chaos, then in that case, it's fine to choose chaos. That's the thing. So many quotes have different meanings and they can be different in different scenarios, but that's why I like putting them in my notes because it reminds me that day to day, it's great to reflect on quotes to make sure you're being the best version of yourself, basically. Right, I'm going to set my face with the H&B Cosmetics Loose Soft Spoke... <laughs> soft Focus Setting Powder, which has just gone everywhere. Right, making sure I've not creased anywhere. I'm just gonna go like this. Next quote, let's go. And it is, be kind to yourself. And I've got at the end of it, be kind to yourself, Libby, because your girl do be hard on herself. It's so hard because I always have an argument. God, the skin be looking good. I am that person that sees both sides of every story. So I'm the best person to go to for advice. But I'm the worst person to go to for advice for myself because I can never weigh up what is the best route to go down because I see the good in people and I see the good and bad in myself. So I feel like I can be really hard on myself sometimes because I'm like, what if I make the wrong decision? I can never make a decision to save my life. I get so scared that I've made the wrong decision in certain scenarios 
And I just feel like it's so important to tell yourself you are allowed to make mistakes. You are allowed to mess up. We're only human at the end of the day. So that's why that quote is really important to me because it's just a constant reminder that I need to not be hard on myself. I'm gonna go in with a brush and I'm gonna go back in with the color Tranquil on my outer corner of my under eye. I always find using an angled brush works really well with your under eyes as well. So I'm now going in and just making sure I'm happy with my eyeshadow. So I've just gone in with the really small brush and just on the outer corner put the purple. I feel like it's really made my eyes much more bright and in your face. And now I'm going to just touch up my mascara on my top and I might even put it on my bottom lashes today. I have been absolutely obsessed with this mascara recently. This is the Max Factor Masterpiece 2-in-1 Lash Wow. There's an option to do volume and an option to do length with this one. And then just touch up my top ones. We're going to just finesse the blusher really lightly with the NARS Bumpy Ride Blusher. And we are going to talk about the last quote of the day. So, stop forcing it. Just stop forcing it. Something that I have done in the past many, many of times. <laughs> This one hits a nerve. This relates to me talking about how I'm such a true Pisces and I see the good in people and I'm sensitive. This can be relevant for anything. If something doesn't feel right, this leads on to your gut, if your gut doesn't feel right. If someone is giving red flags, don't force it because you want to prove yourself wrong, which I've done and tried to do in the past. You see the good in that person, so you are like, no, they'll change, they'll be better, things will be different, they will never change. <laughs> you are your own person, so someone else is their own person, and everyone thinks and processes things differently. If they are a nasty person, if they are a narcissist, or if they are just nasty, or they are just not into you, which is, can just be brutally the truth, don't force it on your side because all you're gonna do is hurt yourself later on down the line or you're just gonna waste your time and eventually prove your gut right anyway. I'm gonna go in with a nude pinky lips by Kylie in the shade One Wish. So we're gonna go in with the liner first. <gasps> oh, that's the lid broken. I feel like this quote is just the brutal truth. Not going to get on with everyone not everyone is going to be right for you and right for your path in life. I forgot how creamy these lip liners are. I feel like we ended on a brutal one there, <laughs> but possibly one of the most important ones that links all of the other quotes together. If I ever get myself into a pickle again, I want to see that at the early stages and be like, Libby, you know this. You've, you've been through this before. You've gone down this road before. For example, if you're going on a date with a guy, I think I need a glossy lip by the way. I have this really nice gloss from Revolution. This is the Shimmer Bomb. It's got nice purple elements to it, so I feel like it'll go really nice. That's better. That's much better. Forgot how much I loved this as well. See, this is why it's so good to just sit down and play around with makeup. Where was I? Say if you're going on a date with a guy, You've been messaging multiple times before this day and you've got your hopes up. You feel like this This is really positive. This is going really, really well. You were on the first date and you were like, Ugh. Like you leave and you're like, that wasn't what I expected or hoped it would be. Don't go on that second date. <laughs> you already know you've not felt the vibe that you wanted to feel. So don't go on the second date. I'm telling myself this as well because I've done it in the past. Don't feel guilty. If it's not right, it's not right. I linked a lot of those quotes to relationships with friends and partners, but they are all very, very relevant to day-to-day -day life. I feel like I wanted this video to be kind of motivation going into the new year about how to approach situations, how to feel on the day-to-day. -day. That's what these sort of videos are for. They're for you to listen and question things and think, are you happy with that? And if you're not, Get it sorted. I am going to set my face and then we are all done. I'm going to use the Way Sheree. Yeah, I really enjoyed 
doing my makeup while talking about an actual subject. I feel like that was really, really fun. Also, really, really happy with my makeup. I haven't played around like this for ages. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I feel like I'm such a roll right now with filming content and I just can't wait to keep filming more and more. I just love the whole process. The editing, I love being in my own room, lighting my candles, sitting down with a video and creating my own little movie. I just find it so fun. If you are new here and you've enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.